March 3rd, 2017, and after two years of waiting, we expected we would get some kind of a concert from them. What we didn't expect was this. Yes, it's true. After two years of waiting, they did not release a more powerful or larger console, such as we were thinking. They released a smaller, much less versatile console, which angered many people. So, in this video, I'm going to take you guys through the Switch Lite trailer and tell you why I think it was a miss for Nintendo. Alright, so here we have the trailer, and in typical fashion, it's just a plain background with somebody talking over the front of it, which I like. I kind of think it kind of binds Nintendo to you. It kind of makes you think that they're just talking to you which I think is a great marketing strategy, but the marketing strategy behind the Switch Lite, I feel like is just kind of bad and aimed the wrong direction. I'll show you why. Let's watch the video first, or at least bits of it. Hi everyone, I'm Yoshiaki Koizumi, general producer of Nintendo Switch. Players the world over are already enjoying Nintendo Switch and its growing catalog of games. I'd like to extend my heartfelt gratitude to each of you. <laughs> Thank you. With Thank Nintendo you. Switch, you can play on your TV at home, detach the Joy-Con controllers to play with friends, mm -hmm. or undock the system to take it with you wherever you want. You can find your way to play, thanks to the many different course, play styles supported by the system. I That's love that about the Nintendo Switch, by the way. Switch you know and love. And this fall, it will be joined by a new addition to the family. Introducing First of all, Nintendo Switch ugly Lite. color. I hate this color. This version of Nintendo Switch is dedicated to handheld play. And I don't know who decided on this color, light, but it's god awful for the trailer. On the, go. the front of the system looks like this. Mm -hmm. Here's a side view for you. And this is how it looks on the back. Nintendo Switch Lite will be available in three different colors. What's well, it? Terrible Yellow, colors. Gray. Gray's and okay. Turquoise. Now the turquoise and this. the mustard yellow are just awful. Okay. So much B-roll was used in the making of this. It's like a solid like 30 seconds here of just straight up B-roll. I love the music. I love the atmosphere. Great trailer. Great trailer. Not gonna say anything about the trailer. So we have you essentially playing games in places where you have no reason to be playing games, though. Like a rock climbing wall? No one's going to be playing a Switch when they have that much fun to have behind them. Unless that's really just what our generation has come, which is kind of sad if, that, if that's true. Okay. So, a lot of this trailer is just showing people using the traditional Nintendo Switch and showing that, oh hey, you can use this light with it, or with somebody who has the Nintendo Switch already. Not gonna lie, I saw this part for the first time and I was like, how did they get one up there? And I'm like, oh, wow, I'm dumb. They probably just used the green screen. But, okay, how many thousands of dollars would it take to put that switch up in a spacecraft? Where they're like, trying to save as much money as possible, like freeze drying everything, reusing all their water. It costs so much to put it there. Also, he clearly did not have enough time to save there. Back to him. So, how'd it look? With Nintendo Switch Lite, it looked the field, god awful in the colors you picked. You'll have an option that's optimized for handheld play. In terms of features, Nintendo Switch Lite differs a bit from the flagship Nintendo Switch system. Was the Nintendo Here, Switch not already you. optimized for handheld play? I own a Switch. I have one right here. It's perfect First for off, handheld play. Since Nintendo Switch Lite is a dedicated handheld, 
it won't connect to a TV. Okay. So the switch in the name has nothing to do with this console. To make it easy to take with you, the main unit and control inputs are integrated into one piece of hardware. There. The directional it, buttons have been swapped This out is easy to take with you. There's back. nothing wrong with taking this with you. I put this in my in bag, fact, I can fit it in half my pockets. It's different from the Joy-Con controllers included with the flagship Nintendo Switch system. And so, the IR motion camera and HD rumble features have been removed. That, that's that such an unnecessary thing to take out. You can still have rumble in there. Like one, two, switch which require motion controls. Yeah, so like, one of their games that they put out for the With Switch Nintendo you can't switch even Lite, use. You can play all Nintendo Switch games that support handheld mode. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Okay. Super Mario Odyssey. The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Mario Kart 8 I like how they're use, I like how they use, like, their played. biggest titles there. To see if a game supports handheld mode, check the back of the software packaging. I didn't even think that was a thing that you needed to check. Since a Switch game Switch should just Lite work on a Switch. From the flagship Nintendo Switch in terms of features. Please visit our website for some help citing which one is right for you. The Nintendo Switch family's newest edition, Nintendo Switch Lite. It's a dedicated handheld, so it's nice and easy to take it with you. It, it already it's was. It's more fun to have options. And now you can find your I get it if it's slightly smaller, Nintendo it's like, Switch oh, they're easier to carry. But this is already easy to carry. Like, who is it that this is not easy to carry for? I just about dropped it. Who has a Switch and is like, oh man, this thing is just not easy to like take places. No, nobody. I actually got into a debate with somebody in a comment section of this YouTube video, actually, because somebody said that Oh, this is marketed towards somebody who who can't afford to get a switch and would still like to play all the games but if budget is an issue for you what i would just suggest is to go on ebay and just buy a used switch it's such a much better option yes it's a little bit older i don't know the components they're gonna have in this but you can get one i think i saw one for 189 dollars so ten dollars cheaper than what they have one listed for here it's a much better option and you get so much more for what you're buying one of my least favorite parts of this trailer happens right around here they go through and they talk about all the different types of ways that people enjoy playing with the Switch. Nintendo Switch. I'm gonna let that play for a second. In a TV. In a TV. Detach the Joy -Con you can detach the Joy-Cons to play with other people while you're there. Or undock the system to take it with you wherever you want. Rather than capitalizing on those first two, like, really fun ways that people play with each other, which was mostly for multiplayer, instead they're gonna roll out a console where they're like, oh, you know those first two fun ways about the Switch that made the Switch what it is. No, we're gonna ditch those and we're gonna give you a console that can't play either of those two at all. And from what I saw, your only other option that you have with this is I believe you can attach other Joy-Cons or Pro Controllers to it. So rather than making it to where it has its own smaller Joy-Cons where you can take it other places much easier, I guess, since apparently transporting this is a problem, they decided that, oh, if you wanna play with other people locally on this thing, you have to buy two other attachable pieces for a completely different console. And then you're just supposed to carry those around with you if you wanna play multiplayer with somebody. So essentially to me, what the message of this console is and the way the beginning of this trailer is kind of structured is, hey, you know all those great things you loved about the Switch which made it so popular with people? Yeah, here's a console with none of those features. They could have capitalized on the Switch, made it faster, give it more frames per second, so many other things, and they just decided to throw all the steam and good things that they had going for them out the window to roll out a console which I feel like not that many people are gonna buy. When the Switch is already only $300 or less than the price of this brand new Switch Lite used and still very portable. Like if you have issue taking this thing's places, just buy jeans with bigger pockets. But my biggest complaint about the Switch Lite is it has the name Switch on it. Like if you're gonna roll out a handheld device that plays all of the Switch games on it but is only in handheld mode, that's fine. Just market it like that. Market it like the handheld that it is. Don't market it like it is a Switch. Because in my mind, nothing about this is a Switch other than the name on it. Like this console has no Joy-Cons. It has no IR sensor. It has no rumble. All of these things which make the gaming more immersive and why people love the Switch. In my mind, without these things, this is just another handheld. It's just gonna be another Wii U, except with 
a larger game library. Not as big as the Switch, but still a larger game library. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe this is going to be the new handheld that everyone seems to have with them. But hey, that's just my take on it. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Make sure if you're new to the channel to wreck that subscribe button and maybe click the notification bell to actually get my videos. Also do me a favor, smash the like button and let me know, are you excited for this new Switch? That's all for me, thank you guys, and I hope you all have a good day. Later.